Hi guys, I've been growing sprouts again and I wanted to do a little update on um, what I've learned and things that I'm going to be changing. Now, I truly am not doing any microgreens right now and the reason for that is I had them in little pots and it was basically one serving by the time I harvested it and I waited like a week for these things to be big enough. And once I harvested them, there was enough to feed me lunch, you know, to just go on with my lunch. It wasn't enough for the family. And um, it's kind of hard to wait a week and have one meal. And I have gotten so good at the sprouts that I really don't think I need the microgreens anymore. So what have I learned and what am I changing? Now, my first batch, my first successful batch with my new green thumb, um, once they got big enough and they filled my jar, I stopped the growing process. I pulled them out, I rinsed them off really good, and I put them in a plastic baggie in the fridge. And I gave some to my mom so that she could try them out because she likes sprouts as well. And, and then I started the next batch, which is this batch. Now, with this batch, I'm doing it differently. You can see this jar is half full. Well, what I've been doing is just pulling out what I need for my meal or my sandwich or whatever it is, and then washing them really good. And, and I do that because you'll see as I pull these out, there's a lot of seeds in there. And you it's kind of hard on the teeth. You could chew those, but it's kind of hard on the teeth. Now, when I said I'm not growing microgreens anymore, look at how big my sprouts are getting, okay? And that's why I didn't feel like I needed to grow any microgreens because my sprouts are growing really, really big. So what I do is I pull what I need for my meal out of the jar, put them into a bowl of water, and I pull them apart really good. And I didn't show this before. Um, because I just showed you the point of where, okay, they're big enough, they can be harvested, okay? And then you can see, hopefully, let's pull this up, maybe you can't. All those seeds float to the top, okay? You can then go in with a little strainer, and normally I'll do this in a much bigger bowl, but for the camera, I'm doing it here. And then just strain all of those seeds out. Okay, and then um, generally I put these sprouts through my salad spinner and I am just, for the sake of the video here, going to pull these out and show you all those seeds in there. Okay, so that's what we want to remove is those seeds. And of course I'm here without a, a towel again. Because that's just something I seem to forget when I go to, to record for you. Okay, so we're pulling all those seeds out and then these I'll run through my salad spinner, which is just a, um, it's like a mesh type bowl that spins around and removes the excess water. And then I'll throw these right into my spinach uh, sandwich and I'll put a picture for you um, to show you what that is. And basically it's my sunflower seed spread, a big layer of spinach, and then my sprouts. And that's become my lunch every day. And then of course, it's not enough food to fill me up, so I'll have some oats or whatever after that. Now, why am I not growing microgreens? Why are these sprouts lasting me so much longer? I've pulled out what I need for the day, put that back in, cap it up and I just let it keep growing, okay? And I just keep doing this with my three jars alternating what I take out of and then I just keep doing the process of rinsing them every morning and every night. They're staying fresh. I'm not putting them in the refrigerator to stop that growing cycle. I'm just letting them keep growing and I'm just keep eating them, okay? And um, eventually I'm sure they'll get to a point where I won't want to do that anymore. But for right now, that's working really well and I haven't had to start any more seeds. So one other thing that I want to change 
And as we know, the metal from these uh, mason jars will eventually start rusting. And you can probably see in there, yeah, it's starting to rust. So I don't want to keep using these metal jars. And of course, I had my little mesh thing inside there that I would just wash and reuse. But that's not going to stop that metal from contaminating. And so what I'm going to do now is I've got some cheesecloth that I've just cut into squares, put it over the top, and instead of using the metal ring, I am going to use a big rubber band, okay, a gummy band for those in England. That's what my husband calls them, gummy bands. Okay. And this was my daughter's idea, so yay. All right, and so this is now our sprout jar. No more metal that's going to rust. Now, one other change. What I was doing is we know that they have to be propped up at an angle so that they can drain and still get air. And I was putting these along the edge of my kitchen uh, countertop. And I had a um, just a cloth underneath to absorb that water and it was getting quite saturated and as we know wet cloths are going to grow bacteria so we don't want to do that long term so what I've started doing and of course I used the bowl here that I was doing it in is I've got this big bowl now and this just sits in the center of my kitchen on a counter or um, I've got a little baker's table in the center there. Let's see, I know you've seen that before. Just a little baker's table in the center aisle, okay? And um, this is just sitting there. You can put it on your kitchen counter. And then I put my jars in here like so. So they're still at an angle they're still getting air, they're still able to drain water, but there's no cloth underneath holding that water and that bacteria, okay? So those are the things that I've learned with my sprouts and microgreens. And just wanted to give you that update so that you might be able to incorporate some of these things that I've learned. It's all trial and error and we're all learning, right? Have a good day, guys. Give me a thumbs up, all right? Comment down below.